How are you doing, everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday, and yeah, wow, I had a crazy weekend. Um, spent some, uh, I don't know how many of you out there have kids, but uh, my daughter's four and has spent some time in the ER on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, and then in urgent care, and yeah, um, she had the croup. And still has it, obviously. Um, but we had a little bit of scare because one of her best friends at school, uh, her whole family got COVID and they tested positive. So it's like, okay, we gotta go get tested. Then all of a sudden she has all this. And yeah, long story short, personal time. Oh, what a hell of a weekend. Um, anyway, Saturday was National Baseball Card Day and I was able to go to a couple, uh, couple shops. So what are we gonna open today? Well, we're gonna open some stuff I picked up. But the main event, if you will, is gonna be two packs, and I know they're, they're in boxes, of the Tops On Demand 2021 3D Baseball. Yeah, I know, you can't really tell with this, and hopefully that's what they are, but there's two packs in here of Tops 3D, and we are going to rip them open, and we are going to see how the hell 3D looks in 2021. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on a Monday, and we are going to open up two boxes, packs, of the Topps 3D 2021 Baseball. I did pick up four of them, but we're only going to open two of them today. Um, but as I mentioned at the top of the show, we'll put this aside, this will be the last thing we rip. Uh, as I mentioned at the top of the show, uh, Saturday was National Baseball Card Day, and I went to two card shops, one after my daughter's urgent care appointment uh, at the Valley, uh, Valley Sports Cards in Tarzana. Ran into an actor friend of mine who actually is working there right now, so that's pretty awesome. Mike, what's up, dude? He's over at Junk Wax Junkies. Uh, good dude, fellow uh, character actor, books a lot of commercial stuff, and you, you, you you, you've seen it before. I'll put it that way. You've seen it before. Anyway, so I swung in there, picked up a pack, and then went out to Burbank uh, after a quick little retail run, uh, and I did get some stuff. But went to Burbank, and they were out of packs, but still picked up something. So anyway, what did we get? Well, at Valley, we picked up our pack of cards, which we'll open here in a second, and then I picked up two hobby packs of Top Series 2 and a hobby pack of Gypsy Queen. Because, you know, why not? And they're not that expensive. And then at Burbank, again, they were out of the packs. I did pick up the Pro Debut Fat Pack, another one, because I like this stuff. I'm a glutton. So anyway, are you ready to rip this open? By the way, these are the two free cards that I got. Uh, these are the ones you get when you buy product, as opposed to just walking in the store. From Alec Bohm Rookie and Fernando Tatis. Uh, and these only are available, well, normally, to uh, when you buy product. Um, that said, Burbank evidently only got three boxes and the volume of that store alone, they should be getting a lot more than that, but whatever, it is what it is. So let's go. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do open this bad boy up first, but wait, wait, wait a gosh darn minute. Click that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, uh, leave a comment. Please tell me if you think these cards suck. Follow me and all that fun stuff over there. And guess what, you know what? You've seen this show before, I'm doing a giveaway. When we reach 500 subs here on YouTube, 20 packs of Dollar Tree will get shipped out. Uh, NBA Hoops from the Dollar Tree will get shipped out to 20 random subscribers when we reach 500 here on YouTube. Yeah, it's gonna be a long one. Oh, by the way, stay tuned. A couple hours after this episode drops, I am going to be doing a, um, a uh, new release uh, first look drop of the Gypsy Queen Blaster, which I just picked up. So I'll be dropping that later on in the day. And then you can see what is in Gypsy Queen 2021. Uh, it hasn't even hit street yet. And I was able to get a couple blasters. Woo! Anyway, bring backs. Let's do this. National Baseball Card Day. Uh, again, pick this up at Valley Sports Cards in Tarzana, California. And I, I guess if I would have showed up like three or four people after, I would have got a Daz Cameron autograph. There's a girl, she got a pack, she opened it there. She, it was a sticker auto, but still, she got a friggin' autograph. Are we gonna get one? Highly doubtful, but let's find out. Let's rip some packs, let's go. Okay, uh, this is actually the first time I participated in National Baseball Card Day because last year I just got into the hobby right before it started, right before, uh, right after this happened. So what do we got here? Well, we got Alex Bregman of the Astros. That's our front card, you already saw him. Another Fernando Tatis. This one's obviously a different variation than the one they're giving out, and that's the one they're giving out for when you buy product. 
Someone got a Tatis, cool. Cabrian, nice rookie card. Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. Obviously, the print run on these is going to be phenomenal, huge. But you never know. I mean, come on, they're they're fine. They're free. Joey Votto for the Reds. He's been just tearing the ball lately, keeping them in the playoff hunt, if you will. And the last card is Mr. Acuna. So we got a pretty good star pack, and we got one of the key rookies. So not bad. Evidently, there's only 30 cards on the checklist. So yeah. But that was what we got for free, so very cool. So we got those. Now let's go ahead and go to our two packs. We're just gonna cruise through these and if there's anything good, I will go to you. I'll go to you. Are you ready? Let's go, let's go series two first. Top series two, we have a hobby pack of 14 cards. Maybe something, I don't know. Let's rip some packs, let's go. Yeah, a bunch of base probably. Uh, Carlos Cookie Carrasco. Jose Martinez for the Mets, Jonathan Scope for the Tigers, Rowdy Telez no longer with the Blue Jays, Ryan Presley for the Astros, we've got Clint Frazier for the Yankees, Evaldi for the Red Sox, we're going to go into the PC pile, eh, I'll do that later, Brandon Belt for the Giants, Herman Marquez, All-Star for the Rockies, Tawan Walker, All-Star for the Mets, but it says Blue Jays, uh, Brendan Rodgers for the Rockies, Alejandro Kirk, rookie card for the Blue Jays. Gregor Polanco for the Pirates and Cleveland Indians. Wow, that pack sucked donkey. Oh, that was an awful pack. Oh. Wow, yeah. Hmm. All right, well, let's see if Gypsy Queen will make up for that. Again, hobby pack, we have eight cards in here. Have an open hobby this year on this because it came out so late, at least available to me. Uh, but yeah, it was, you know, why not? Yeah, ribbon packs, let's go. Same thing, if there's a hit, you're going there. Let's go. Okay, eventually I will get this open. There we go. Okay, Chris Davis, who I pulled the other day. Nate Pearson, rookie card for the Blue Jays. Was gonna be a big deal, uh, and he started the season a big deal. Then he got injured, and now I don't think, maybe he'll make it back up to the big leagues, I don't know. But he's gonna go into the rookie pile for right now. Uh, Kay Aiken, Keenan Aiken, I don't know, rookie card for the Orioles, don't know much about him. Kyle Lewis, going into the PC pile for me because I PC Kyle Lewis, even though he's been injured most of the year, but you're a PC guy for me. Okay, I'm gonna have to do PC pile, I'll break this up in a minute. Then Tommy Davidson, no, it's not Tommy Davidson, it's T. Davidson, and I know baseball, but I don't know some of these guys. That's one guy I don't know. T. Davidson, Tommy, Timmy, Trevor, uh, Thaddeus, I don't know. Satchel. It is Tucker. Not even close. Not even close. Wilson Ramos for the Mets. Cody Whitley for the Cardinals with the rookie card. And then Nick Madrigal, rookie card for the White Sox. So we had some good rookies in there, but uh, nothing to make me go really happy. Get really happy. Is there anything special here? Nope, nothing special. So, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing there. Yeah, nothing big. So, what do we have next? Well, I did go to Burbank after, and they ran out of cards, but I still picked up a fat pack, a jumbo of 2020 Pro Debut. And I have ripped it on the channel before when I was in Jersey, but this is the proper rip right here. So, you know, at home with my devices. Yeah. Okay. So, are you ready to rip this? 24 cards in here, fresh out of the jumbo box, so it hasn't been played with yet. We'll see what we get. You ready? Ripping packs, let's go. Okay. Now I do have, I believe, six chrome cards per, yeah, six cards. We got uh, Michael Bush with the Arizona League Dodgers. That is in the Rookie League Pro Debut, so you're gonna go over here. Gus Varlin for the Stockton Ports. Uh, if you did not know, they are the Oakland A's uh, Class A team, and uh, yeah, a lot of the alignments have changed, but they're still with the Oakland A's, I'll tell you that much. Then we have Bryson Stott with the pro debut card for the Phillies. He just got promoted to double A, if I recall. So he's on the fast track eventually, but he's like, you know, 23, 24 years old. So he should be. Ruben Cardenas with the Bowling Green Hot Rods. They are the double rays. Why do I always say double rays? It's the rays. Maybe it's because I remember when they were brought into the league. Uh, the rays, the Tampa Bay Rays, a double A, if, no, A ball affiliate. Don't know where they're at now but they were a ball. Uh, Casey Mize, there's a hit uh, out of Erie Seawolves. That's the double A, uh, 
double-A forward, the Detroit Tigers. That's a uh, hit. So guess what? You're going to go into the hit pile. Then Brian Campusano for the St. Lucie Mets. They uh, were the high-A team of the Mets at that time, so maybe he's a double-A now. I don't know. Well, we have Corbin Carroll with the pro debut. Uh, Arizona's first round pick out of uh, 2019, I believe, out of uh, Washington. Ended up uh, hurt, breaking his leg, I believe, at a uh, high A ball this year, and he's been out for the year. But he's he's a good one to look out for. He's he's a this is a pro debut is like their first Bowman card. So yeah, just a heads up there. Then Chris Valamont for the Fort Myers Miracle. Uh, now the Fort Myers Muscles, uh, and they are the Twins affiliate. Ethan Small with the pro debut for the Brewers. What team is that? The Arizona League Brewers, so that's pretty cut and dry where that is. Then we have Luis Vasquez for the, well, I, don't, I don't know, Los Dominios de Mons. Okay, so this is the uh, Iowa Cubs, and that's their Copa de Cup uh, uniform that they wear like, you know, like four or five times a year. Um, at least they used to. Then we have, oh, nice. Is this uh, yes! 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 Holy crap, nice. Guys, the flavor of the month right now. This is friggin' awesome. Jaron Duran, autograph. PC hit as well because I'm a big Sox fan. I like Jaron a lot. That's, <laughs> that's friggin' awesome. Uh, I like Jaron. His age is the only thing that just kind of gets me because he's like 24 years old and 25. He's one of those late bloomers, but he's an awesome, he's, he's awesome. Oh my God, that is so friggin' awesome. Oh yeah, uh, daddy's happy. Daddy's friggin' happy right now. He's actually in the big leagues right now, unless he just got brought down. Uh, that's a friggin' hit. Yes, yes. Uh, Hector Figueroa for Bowling Green, I told you before, and this is a chrome, uh, Insert that are only in the jumbo packs. He's with Bowling Green uh, with uh, Tampa Rays. Josh Wolf with the pro debut Chrome for the Mets. Then we have Drew Waters for the Gwinnett Stripers, which is the Atlanta Braves AAA team. I think he just got called up not too long ago. So yeah, Drew Waters. O'Neill Cruz for the Altoona Curve. A six foot seven shortstop, former uh, former Dodger, if I recall. Yeah, he was traded. Um, but yeah, O'Neill Cruz uh, is looks like he. There's a very good chance he's going to make it to the majors this year, especially the how Pittsburgh is. They just suck. So you know, bring up the bring up the young guys. Then uh, Gabriel Cancel for the Arquest. Arquest. That's not even a name. Arkansas Northwest Arkansas Naturals. They are the Double A team for the Royals. Again, the chromes are only in the jumbos, so if you are looking at the 2021s, which do hit, I believe, in a week or so, jumbo is the only place you're going to see the chrome cards at. And then a gold chrome, which should be number 75, Victor Mesa Jr. for the Marlins. One of the Marlins, they have a couple. They have a Victor Victor Mesa, Victor Mesa Jr. I don't know which one this is, um, but it's a pro debut and a gold, and it is numbered 54 to 75. So that's a nice little hit, too. Another O'Neill Cruz, this time with the just base uh, version. That's going to be a hit, at least in my eyes. Another Gabriel Gabriel Cancel. Cancel. So uh, hopefully you don't get a bunch more of the other chrome. Tristan McKenzie with the Akron Rubber Duckies. Now pitching in the big leagues. I, I don't know what his deal is. I honestly haven't paid much attention to the Cleveland Gladiators. The Indians. The Gladiators. Um, don't know what his deal is. How he's been doing. Then Joey Bart with the, uh, this is the Richmond Flying Squirrels, double A team. Now he's in triple A going, I don't think he's made, got back to the major league since last year, but he's been hitting the ball well. So just waiting for that chance to play. He is another older guy, so like 24 years old. So now's the time for Joey Bart. That's a hit. Then Eduardo, Eduardo Cabrera for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. That is the Marlins. Then double A, but now triple A team. He's, I assume he's there or in the bigs. I don't know actually. And then we have Ulrich Bajarski for the Lakeland Flying Tigers. I'm going to give you a clue which Detroit Major League team they're affiliated with. That's right, those guys. Last card is oh, the ever so incredible Timothy Tebow. Now the tight end of the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
Uh, we'll see if that lasts, but either way, um, that Jern Duran, not numbered or anything, I don't care. That's, it's a sticker auto, but still, getting this guy who is, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I've done okay with these packs, and in the jumbo box, I wanna say it's three guaranteed autographs and like two relics or whatever, but getting Jaron Duran, that's a guy, I honestly, I've been buying some of his stuff uh, on just looking for deals uh, early on before it got called up, and yeah, pretty happy. So I'm gonna clean this off, and then we are gonna come back for Tops 3D, all right? I'll see you in a minute. All right, everybody, the table is cleared and it's time to break the fourth wall. Not 4D, 3D. Tops on demand 3D. We have two boxes here, which are packs, evidently. Uh, eight cards, should be two rookie cards that are special, exclusive to this, and six regular cards. No clue what I'm getting. Uh, these were on tops.com for $19.99 each with free shipping. I was able to pick up four. It was a Montgomery Club exclusive for a day, so yeah. I don't know the print run on these. I want to say it was about uh, 120, you know, it was 125,000 or total uh, cards, boxes, I don't know. But there was a print, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can put the print run below because obviously it is on demand, but they do cap it at one point, so. All right, are you ready to do this? Let's go. There is, like I said, it's just tops on demand. We're gonna see what we get. Ribbon packs, Monday, let's go. Okay, here we go. This is what you get. Thick, heavy, Pop-Tart-like pack. All right, so before what I open this, they are very heavy, by the way, I brought an old Sport Flick card out. This was the originator. Well, maybe not so much the originator, but this is what the 3D cards looked like back then, if you were not aware. So it's an up and down. I've seen that these are left to right. But yeah, that's what they are. They're pretty thick cards compared to standard cards. I'll just use that uh, as an example there. Um, not really the greatest example, but still. So we're gonna look at these and we're just gonna compare. See what exactly is inside of this. Are you ready? Let's rip some packs, let's go. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the Tops Gods have brought us. We got Mookie Betts. Yeah, it's totally sports flicks. Mookie Betts, right off the bat there with the Dodgers. See if you see, that is, it is pretty cool. I don't know if the camera, camera looks like it's picking it up, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. Again, Sport Flicks and Chrome. And uh, yeah, it is the exact same thickness and everything. So yeah, Mookie Betts, PC Pile, awesome card. Card number two is Pete Alonzo. Yeah, you actually have to do the, you do have to see these in person because it really is a 3D effect. But you see he's swinging the bat right there. Yeah, that's pretty sweet actually. Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. He's killing the ball too. Um, should have been an all-star, but then again, a lot of Astros weren't all-stars because they opted out because they didn't want to get booed. Yeah, boo. Pretty sweet. Uh, oh, come on, man. Really? Do I have to pull him right now? PC hip, although, uh, yeah, Trevor Bauer. Mm. I like Trevor. I'm the type of personality, too. He's just that egotistical, arrogant, backs it up. I, I actually liked him. Um, man, sucks I had to pull him. Tim Anderson, love this guy. Uh, I think he's an awesome player. Oops. I think he's an awesome player. Just the hobby doesn't love him that much, but there you go, Tim Anderson. Again, so the Mookie's the hit so far. Oh, Jesus, why am I getting players I don't want, like Jose Altuve and Trevor Bauer? I got double Astros right here, so if you're an Astros fan, I'll work out a trade for you, or you can buy them from me, because these are not cheap cards. <laughs> yeah, oof, that is pretty cool, though. Our rookies are Tristan McKenzie. Good Lord, man, I keep pulling this guy. Ah, now these are definitely meant for the, yeah, they're two rookie cards, legit rookies. See, there you go. There he is in the wind, his pit, uh, his throw and in the wind up. Yeah. Tristan McKenzie, rookie card. And then the last card is Christian Pache. And so with this one, obviously, unlike the other cards, they actually generated these rookie cards for 
the usage of different actual looks. So, yeah. So there we go, okay, so Pache and Mookie. I guess those are the two best cards so far. Pack number two. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. So far, Dur Jaron Durant's the winner. <laughs> All right, pack number two, here we go. Tops 3D. Okay, uh, Miguel Cabrera, soon to be Hall of Famer and soon to hit 500 home runs and hit his, get, I think it'll be the end of the year, he gets 300th hit, if not to the beginning of next year, but 3,000th hit, excuse me. Uh, Miggy. Then Randy Rosarena, who is right now at this moment on the COVID-19 list. Uh, we'll see if he picks it back up. He was so dynamic uh, during the playoffs last year. It was so, such a polarizing figure. And then he just kind of, don't get me wrong, he's had an okay year, but not for what he, sh not where everybody was expecting him to play. You know, how, how they were expecting him to do. But either way, I like Randy. Javi Baez now with the Mets and yeah he's your problem now New York <laughs> uh yeah Javi Baez not pulling a lot of good ones here Matt Olson, not an A's fan so yeah I'm not really I mean they're cool cards don't get me wrong but I'm not getting anything that's like yes Matty Olson, Kyle Lewis hey so cool PC hit at least another PC hit Actually, the three on here looks pretty cool with the depth of field, uh, with the outfield wall there. So that's pretty cool. And then our last basic card is Xander. I think that's an image. I think, I think that's an uh, a what you call it, an uh, alternate image, a variation. Because I don't think that's his series, uh, his series two card. I mean, series one. I'll check and I'll put below if it is. Obviously, uh, that's pretty cool. It really is. These are really cool cards to look at. Our rookies are Joe Adele, nice, who's now finally, uh, he had a great first game back from uh, AAA, but he's definitely, uh, I think he's, he's going to strike out, but he's definitely going to hit and he's going to play well. So that's our big, that's a good rookie for us. Then our last card is Ryan Mountcastle. Okay, cool. So again, that's not doing what he does best. Not hitting. Well, he's, he's, he's doing okay at the bat this year. But, yeah. So, there you go. I mean, I would say the rookie cards, which are guaranteed two rookie cards per pack. Uh, the Pache, the Joe Adele, um, and the Mountcastle, obviously, were your hits. Was hoping to pull a base rookie um, because there's only X amount. Because, yeah, I'll, again, I'll put below what the deals are on these because... Yeah, these were two per pack, so it wasn't like that you're getting anything super rare. Um, the Xander Bogarts, I can't really tell because they don't have anything on the back that says if it's a image variation. Um, I don't recall this being his uh, Series 2 card. I could be totally wrong though, but Mookie, honestly, Mookie and Kyle Lewis are the hits. Yeah, if you're a fan of any of the guys I pulled on the 3D side, let me know. I mean, we can work out a trade or something. Um, yeah, I didn't pull any. I mean, Randy Rosarena, Miguel Cabrera. Um, I mean, I pulled a couple okay guys, but nobody else like, yeah! Woo! So, anyways, there you go. Britain packs on Monday. And like I said, um, I should be uploading a Gypsy Queen uh, new release first look video a little bit later. So... Thank you for watching Ribbon Packs. Um, that subscribe button, just give it a push. The whole like button, you know what? Push it. Notification bell, push that as well. Leave a comment, tell me, you know, tell me if these any of these 3D cards you like, anything that you'd uh, maybe would like to trade for. Yeah. Mm. Um, follow me and all that fun stuff over there. You can actually reach out to me on there too. Um, and remember, 500 subs, when we reach 500 subs on YouTube, 20 random packs to 20 random subscribers are going out when we reach 500. So yeah, thank you again for watching Ribbon Packs and I will see you, well, maybe later on, but I'll definitely see you on Wednesday. Take care.